have such an array of emotions attached to that period of my life. Just very broken on so many levels. Yeah, when you're raped, it changes how you see the world around you. Three girls have told me that you raped three girls. You have raped three girls. So? You're not the first one I picked up. He threatened to shoot me. And in my head, I went, I will die. I decided to call the police. I thought, OK, they'll do something now. Obviously, you know that we're here to talk about an allegation you made mid-2018. They will put to her that she's a liar. Even when she's saying, no, it wasn't like that, it didn't happen like that. The police had lost my recorded interview. Sad for the victims, but not necessarily our job to recover. And she was speaking on behalf of herself and two other victims. The police had just closed my case. So I decided to do my own investigation. See where those white curtains are pulled? Yeah. I don't even want to know what's going on in that room right now. He's telling the victims going through his door that nothing will happen if you go to the police. So from there, it really became about challenging the police. I don't like having to prove my own innocence. How many times in total did he rape you? Four times. It's really hard for sexual offence cases to make it to trial. They so often don't. So he is facing five charges wow. in connection with your account. It's going to be hard for him to make all that go away. I feel sad for me, for that young me. I missed out on a period of life there that should have been more joyful. But at the end of the day, they didn't... They needed to listen to me better. They needed to believe I'm allowed to share my story because they're not sharing my story, they're sharing theirs.